Good afternoon and happy Thursday. Not only is today Thursday, but today is the day that we celebrate our veterans. And so I just want to say happy Veterans Day to all of you that have served this great country. And thank you for your service. Truly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your service. I think about people like my dad, my sister, my uncle Adrian, my cousin Adrian, my uncle Willie, my cousin Mark, not Mark, I'm, yeah, my cousin Mark, Mark Jr., and my cousin Jeffrey, my uncle William, and the list, my uncle Stephen, and the list just goes on and on and on. So thank you all so much for your service. So let's jump into today's topic. So today's topic is start looking forward. If you spend all of your time doing an inventory on what you've lost, you will never count up what you have left. Now I'm gonna read that one more time because somebody missed it. Somebody missed it and I need you to hear me. If you spend all of your time doing an in inventory on all of the things that you've lost, you will never, ever, ever, never count up what you have left. See, it's, it's almost like that six in one hand, half a dozen in the other kind of thing where you think about, okay, so I've lost ABC, but I still have X, Y, Z. So I don't know about you all, but I'm thankful for the things that I have left. I'm not worried about what I lost because that, that's in the past. I, I'm, I'm thankful for what God has still allowed me to have. Your future is not predicated on what you lost. It is predicated on what you have left. Again, your future is not predicated on what you've lost. It's on what you have left. See, because what you have left, that's your foundation with which you're going to build, continue to build on. What you have left, that's gone. And there's nothing you can do with that. But you've got to focus on what you have. So what you have left is enough to build something greater than where you are. And you have all the experience that came through the atrocities that you survived. You are stronger, you are what, y'all let me say this. So regardless of what you've gone through, you are now stronger, you are now wiser, you've proven things to yourself that you could have couldn't have learned any other way. Let me let me stop right there. And we'll unpack this a little bit more as I'm driving, but I want to kind of unpack it as I go along. When you go through stuff, the beauty of that is, is that you learn so much. You learn so much about you. You learn so much about that other individual. You learn so much about life. And these are things that you could not have learned had you not gone through whatever it is that you're dealing with. Mm. So start looking ahead. Nobody drives, I'm sorry, start looking ahead. Nobody drives forward looking in the rearview mirror. And this is this quote I just shared with you all is by Bishop T.D. Jakes. Let me say that one more time. Keep looking ahead because nobody drives forward looking in the rearview mirror. That's just like when I get ready to put on my seatbelt, which I will in just a second, and I put my car in drive, my head is this way. I'm not driving forward looking back here to see what's behind me because I'm not gonna get where I need to be and I'm gonna cause an accident. So having said that, I am on my way to my sister's house. We're gonna drive over to, well, I'm riding with her or she's riding with me, either one, to add home. I'm not quite sure where she's going to pick up, don't really care. Just wanna get out the house for a little bit. But I just wanted to, to really talk about how we have to keep looking forward. So many times we spend too much of our time unnecessarily looking behind us, specifically at the things that you've lost or the things that you could have had, had you done some different things. And I, I love, I love me some Medea and I love it when she says, light your big ass. Some of our tails are a little bit bigger than others, okay? I'm one of these people where I can walk by stuff on a shelf and drag it right on off, but it is what it is. But she says, like your big ass, your past is behind you. And so I need you all to stay in the now. Stay in the now. Stop living in the past. Stop focusing on, well, if I had done this, 
then maybe that wouldn't have happened or if I'd done the other, you know, stop, cut all that out. We're, we're not doing that anymore. We are cutting that out because that's in the past. And you know, I've shared with you guys before that anything that you've already done is the past. So what I said to you all a few minutes ago, that's in the past at this point because we're right here in the here and now, yes? So stop living in the past. Stop worrying about the opportunities that you didn't take, the chances that you may have missed. Okay, yeah, you missed those chances, but guess what? That's in the past, honey. We, we, we're living for right now. And I, I don't know about you all, but I keep seeing people posting quotes about how the best is yet to come, which is why I'm always telling you guys that the best is yet to come. It doesn't matter how great your life is. It doesn't matter how great your life has always been. Better is still coming. And I'm claiming it for me and I'm claiming it for you all because I truly believe that. See, I always, I like to, to remind people and to always be reminded that all you have to do is believe, ask and believe. So I don't know about you all, but I have my morning meditation time actually twice because I pray before my feet hit the floor. You hear what I say? I pray before my size eights hit the floor. And I'm just thanking God every morning. It may, sometimes it's the same prayer, sometimes it's not, but I'm thanking God every morning for, for again, tapping me on my shoulder and saying, come on, baby girl, it's time to get up. I've got some great things waiting for you today. I'm thankful that God wakes me up every morning with a roof over my head because I know that somewhere somebody went to sleep and they did not have a roof over their head or they were staying with somebody else. I thank God for waking me up and being able to get in not one but two vehicles, one of which is, is paid for. Hallelujah, somebody. But <laughs> the other one I have four more years left on, but it's all good. But I'm thankful that I have two vehicles that I can choose from. I like this one because I have the sunroof. The other one does not. But that's neither here nor there. But, but I'm thankful for activity in my limbs. Do you know how many people went to bed last night? and they were fine and woke up this morning without activity in their limbs. So I'm thankful for all of that. And I say that before my, like I said, my size eights hit the floor. But then I also have my prayer meditation time where I can write in my war binder and write in, uh, read in my women's devotional journal and all that other good stuff where I can just, you know, really have a sit down talk with God. And I know that his words says, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be open unto you. But if you do all of that, all of that, and you don't believe that God is going to do what you're asking him to do, Sweetie, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time and you're wasting God's time because I truly believe, but I digress. So I just want you all again, starting today, stop worrying about the past. Stop worrying about, well, you know, if I had stayed, if I hadn't stayed with Nathan, I could have been with the person that I really wanted to be with at that time. Okay, well, you stayed with Nathan. Nathan was a jackass and you know, it is what it is. But what did you learn from it? What did you learn from it? That's going to be my new thing when people say, well, you know, I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done the other. I'm going to start asking, but what did you learn from that experience? I don't know about you. I've learned a lot from many things in my life and I am far from perfect. And yes, I sit here and I talk to you guys and I motivate you, but I am far from perfect. Okay. Let's just keep it all the way real. I am far from perfect. I'm still a work in progress. And I'm thankful that God is not done with me yet. He still works on me every day. <laughs> and I'm thankful for it, Lord. But but yeah, so just stop living in the past. You know, I, I've heard people say, well, you know, I stayed with this no good man who cheated and was abusive, both, both physically and verbally. And, you know, if I had left him a long time ago and I would have this, I wouldn't have that, or whatever. I, no, honey, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. It's all right. It's all right. You made the choice, especially, I was watching a movie, and it's uh, a Medea funeral, I think is what it's called, and I've watched that movie, I don't know how many times, and it's still funny every time I watch it, and so the guy, the matriarch, the patriarch of the family, he dies, because he's in a hotel room, 
with his mistress. And I mean, they are just going at it. They're they doing the, the bondage thing, all of that. If you're into that, that's fine. I don't knock what anybody chooses to do. That's your business. It doesn't work with me. So apparently she had put this ball in his mouth and it got stuck in his throat. The man had a heart attack and died. Come to find out, his mistress was a friend of the family. She was a friend of the patriarch as well as his wife. But the oldest son found out about that he was in the hotel because he was in the next room with his his mistress because he was married and turns out the chick that he was with is the girlfriend of his younger brother come on now but anyway uh so as the, the movie goes on he refers to his mother as being weak and so she says, no, let me tell you, I'm not weak. She said, I'm strong. She said, because I stayed with your father. She said, he's always been a whore and he was never gonna be anything else other than that. She said, he just got better with hiding his horn around. Mm. And she said, but I chose to stay with him because I had kids and I needed to, I, she needed his help at that time because she was probably a homemaker. She didn't have a job. And so she had the, she had the son and the daughter and the youngest son, he hadn't been born yet. And she says, so I chose to stay so that you all could have the best life possible. She says, so you call me weak? No, I, I say I'm strong. That's a strong woman. Now, let's let's assume that she sat back one day and said, wow. And then in the end, y'all, hold up. Then in the end, she ends up riding off into the sunset with Mike Tyson. Bless her heart. But anyway, they're going to Vegas, child. She had her whole bag. That's what she called. She said, I came back to get this. The daughter says, Mama, what's that? She said, this is my, I think you guys call it a whole bag. I was dumb. But this, I know what that is. That's a toothbrush, extra pair, of underwear, some other stuff she was <laughs> naming. But the movie is funny, so y'all got to go watch it. But I, I said all of that to say this, that she could sit back and say, you know, if I hadn't have stayed with your father, I probably could have gotten with somebody else that knows how to treat me. If, 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 y'all if a chicken had lips he could tell you what's on his mind okay but he doesn't so all i'm saying is live in the now stop going around worrying about the things that you did not do let's stop doing that let, let let's stop let's stop let's stop and i'm not i can't stress that enough because whatever was is done it's over with but count your blessings you know that song count your blessings one by one but Count the blessings that you still have. And, and actually count the blessings that, that God allowed you to have, even if you don't have them anymore. Count those blessings anyway, because I guarantee you learn something from it. I guarantee that you learn something from it. So it was meant for you to go through whatever it was you went through because you needed to learn something from it. And I'm one of these people, I'm all about learning. Every day, I told you, I think I told you guys before, every day I strive to learn something new. Every single day. Doesn't matter if it's a, something big or something small, but I strive to learn something new every single day because I love learning new things. I don't profess to know it all because I don't. But let me go back to the quote by uh, to Bishop T.D. Jakes, and I love it again where he says, your future, these are your takeaways. Your future is not predicated on what you lost. It's predicated on what you have left, okay? And when you have, what you have left is enough to build something greater than where you are. Don't forget that. What you have right now is enough to build something greater than what you had before. And you have all the experience that came through that thing that you had to deal with and you survived. Many people can't say that, but you did, you survived. You're stronger, you're wiser, and you've proven things to yourself that you couldn't have learned any other way. How many, have, how many of you, by show of hands, how many of you have gone through some stuff and you proved to yourself that you were stronger than the thing that happened to you? And you thought, man, if something like that ever happened to me, it would break me. But guess what? You're still here. You're still thriving. You're still enjoying life. You're still praising God. You're still thanking God. And God is still blessing you. So count yourself blessed. Pick yourself up. And like he said, nobody ever drives forward looking in the rearview mirror. Mm. That's something to shout right there. We can have a benediction. I'm going to go on in my sister's house. On that note, thank you guys so much for giving me just a little bit of your time. 
If you're new to watching my videos, thank you so much for joining me. If this is not your first rodeo, welcome back. I missed you guys. So glad to have each and every one of you here. Always remember that I love each and every one of you to the moon and back and there's nothing you can do about it. I want nothing but success for you, just like I want nothing but success for me. Better is coming. The best is yet to come. Take care. We'll talk again tomorrow.